Hello. In this video, you are going to learn how to solve for x in x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 equal to 100. We are asked to find the value of x, and this is an Olympiad exam question. Now let's solve. As we solve this question, you are going to see how we're going to apply some algebraic formulas to get our solution right. Now let's solve. We are going to simplify this. If we simplify this equation, we'll have uh, x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2, and that will be equal to our minus 100. This will be equal to 0. Remember, 100 comes to the other side. The negative becomes a positive. Now we're going to simplify this by using 1 to 5, 1 to 5, negative 1 to 5 plus positive 25 will give us a negative 100. So we're going to replace this with that. So we'll have our x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 minus 1 to 5 plus 25 and this will be equal to 0. So we we'll have this, we will now have our x to the power of 3, we we'll separate them 1 to 5, right, minus x squared plus 25, this will be equal to 0. Remember 125 is 5 to the power of 3, so we will have our x to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3, minus x to the power of 2 plus this is 5 to the power of 2 right and this will be equal to 0. Now let's recall that we have some algebraic formulas that are very very important and we are going to make good use of those algebraic formula. In algebra we we'll have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This can be equal to a minus b right and this will give us the first value a square plus the first minus the second value plus the second value square. Now if we have our a square minus b square, this will be equal to a minus b, right? And this will be equal to a plus b. So we are going to apply this to our algebraic formulas in simplifying this and this now let's let's do that right away to simplify that we are going to uh, take for a to the power of 3 uh, a is equal to x and our b is equal to 5 so we we'll have uh, x minus 5 right that's the first value minus the x square plus 5 times x, which is 5x, plus 5 what? 5 square. So this would be minus, we'll just simplify this. That will give us x square minus what? 5 square. If you simplify this, you're going to get this value. So this would be equal to 0. So let's uh, simplify this further. If we simplify this, we'll have uh, x minus 5, x squared plus 5x plus 25. And this will give us negative 1 bracket. Remember the algebraic formula we talked about? This will be into bracket x plus 5 and this would be what x minus 5 and this would be equal to 0. Now we have one common term x minus 5 and x minus 5. We'll bring them out, they are common. So we'll have our x minus 5 as a common term. This will give us, if you divide this whole part by x minus 5, we'll have x squared plus 5x plus 25 remaining on that part. And if we divide this whole part by x minus 5, we are going to have minus 
If we simplify that, we're going to have minus x minus 5 remaining over there. And this will be equal to 0. Right? Good. So, having seen this, we can now separate this value. x minus 5 is equal to 0. Or we'll have a, if we simplify this, x squared plus x 5x minus uh, x is going to give us plus 4x plus 25 minus 5 is going to give us plus 20 and this is also equal to 0 so uh, x minus 5 x minus 5 is equal to 0 as well as this value equal to 0. So from here, we can see that our x is equal to 5. That's the value, the first value of x. Now we're going to look for other values of x from this quadratic formula. But to find out if these other values are real, we are going to look for the discriminant of those values. This would be b square minus 4ac. So the discriminant will give us, this will be equal to, remember that from here, our value of A for that quadratic function is 1, our value of B is equal to 4, and our value of C is equal to 20. So if we apply that here, we are going to have this to be equal to B square, which is 4 square, minus 4 times 1, multiply by 20. So this will be equal to 16 minus 4 times 20 will give us 18. 16 minus 20 will make our discriminant to be equal to 64. So what should that tell us about 64? 64 is less than, that will give us a negative 64. Negative 64 is less than zero. So what does that tell us? that the product of this uh, quadratic equation can never give us a real solution. Rather, they, can, they will give us imaginary solution. So as a result of that, we are going to neglect this solution. So the only solution we'll have for this uh, question is uh, x equal to 5. Now let's find out if this is real. Remember the question. The question we are giving, let's check x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2, will this value give us 100? That's a big question. Now let's put our value for x to be equal to 5. So we'll have uh, 5 to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 2. What is 5 to the power of 3 is 1, 2, 5 minus 5 to the power of 2 is 25. So if we subtract them, will get what 100 so we see this value gives us 100 so that tells us that x equal to 5 is the solution that satisfy the uh, exponential equation that we are giving above so you see this question looks very easy initially but we'll show you how to solve this question comfortably to arrive at a very reasonable solution do like comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share these videos this video with friends and colleagues thanks so much for watching and bye bye for now